friends, it's me again, Friedrich. It's been quite some time I didn't gr greet you guys, and I hope you're all doing great. So today I want to show you guys something interesting I've learned from my trigonometry class. It's really practical, and it can help us in our day-to-day -day life. Now let's look at this picture. The tennis net pole has been attached like the one you see in the picture. Seems that the pole needed to be supported, and therefore they put a rope like this, perhaps to make it more stable. The information is as below. The length of the pole is 3 meters, and the distance between the pole and the rope is 1.8 meters. The measured angle between the pole and the ground is 95 degrees. Now, the questions are, A. How long is the rope? B. What angle is made between the rope and the ground? So let's start with the first question. We need to find the length of the rope. I know some of you people were already thinking about using the Pythagorean theorem, but unfortunately, the Pythagorean theorem can only be used for 90 degree angles. In this case, we have a 95 degree angle, so we can't use it here. Fortunately, there is a solution to that problem, and we can use the law of cosines for any triangle imaginable. So the law of cosines is expressed as follows. When we talk about the law of cosines, we also need to talk about the law of sines. Does it look intimidating? Don't be, my friend. Let's translate the formula by inserting all of the values into it. So now we need to find the information. A pole that supports a volleyball net is 3 meters tall. And the measured angle between the pole and the ground is 95 degrees. To stabilize the net, a rope is attached to the top of the pole and extends to the ground. The distance between the pole and the rope extension on the ground is 1.8 meters. So our first task is to find the length of the rope, which I'll call A. So this is A. Our second task is to find what angle is made between the rope and the ground, which will be this, this angle, which I'll call B. So now let's plug the numbers into the formula and solve the equation. To find the 1.8 squared. So, the length of this rope is 3.63. And now, we need to find the angle that the rope makes to the ground. For this, we'll use the law of sines. B is equal to 55.39 degrees. Now, friends, we've learned today that the law of sines and the law, uh, law of cosines are two very important things. One of them helped us to find the angle measure uh, to, in two lines between a triangle, and the other one helped us to extend the Pythagorean theorem to any triangle without being limited to right triangles only. As always, I hope you found this video helpful and fun. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day. Bye-bye.